welcome back to my hair growth series. This is the final part in this series. I seriously cannot believe that it's been three months since the beginning of this year. It's truly, truly crazy how quickly time flies. Before I get into this final progress pick, I want to thank you guys so much for following along with me on this little hair growth journey. I had a little setback in my previous update that I was very upset about at the time, but I'm happy to say that I have seen much more progress this time. For the second half of the series, I incorporated the hair growth vitamins in with the shampoo and the conditioner, which I did just to see if it would kind of speed the hair growth process along even more. The company is pretty famous for the vitamins. So I expected that the hair growth would jumpstart even more. I had seen some really great progress during the first couple weeks um, just using the shampoo and conditioner. And then actually it wasn't until I started doing the vitamins that I had that week where it looked like my hair had gotten shorter. I don't know if it started breaking again or if maybe it was like an error in the way I maybe was standing when I took the picture or maybe how I cropped the picture, I'm not really sure. After taking that last pic, I have seen so much more progress. Here is the final collage of week zero, week three, week six, week nine, and now week 12. For someone who doesn't see much hair growth on a regular basis, this is huge for me. Take a look at week zero compared to week 12. In three months, I have added a noticeable length to my hair. I actually didn't notice how short that I had cut my hair until I was looking at a couple of old Instagram pictures. And I actually did have some people come up to me and tell me that my hair looked like it had grown a lot, which is just like a super exciting thing for me to hear. My final thoughts on the products itself. The shampoo and the conditioner are pretty cool. The consistency of the shampoo from the first set and the second set were very, very different, which I thought was the strangest thing ever. I was saying at the beginning that when I put the conditioner in my hair, it felt like feathers. Um, that also diminished as time went on using it. I don't know if that was because of the second set being different from the first set or not, or if my hair is just kind of getting used to um, the product. I do believe that this was a really great hair detox, if anything. And if you do need a detox from all of the chemicals and stuff that you usually put in your hair, this is a great product for you. Hair growth vitamins. They are awesome. They're packed full of like a thousand different kinds of vitamins. They have biotin in it, they have folic acid in it, so really like everything that's really good for your hair, they have them. All that good stuff for your hair, skin, and nails. Honestly, you know, I actually didn't think about that, but my nails haven't been breaking that much either, and I was thinking the other day that usually like my um, skin will get really dry like after showers and stuff, but I haven't really been having to use lotion or anything like that. So I wonder if those vitamins are having some kind of effect on that. That would be pretty cool. Even if you don't want to buy this brand though, I feel like any kind of hair, skin, and nail vitamins you should be taking. A friend of mine really swears by the little blue gummy bear hair vitamins. I haven't tried those yet, but probably I will. <laughs> so in conclusion, Vitamins are great. Shampoo and conditioner is great. If you want to grow your hair or really detox your hair, I think that these products are a really great investment to do this. However, if you color your hair and you need that extra protection, like you're blonde and you don't want to be brassy, um, you're looking for more volume, like you're looking for specific things like that, not just hair growth, I really do feel like there are better products out there on the market for that. Um, I would definitely recommend looking into some of the luxury lines. So what am I going to do? Honestly, I love my luxury lines. However, I do not think that I will never use Hair La Vie again. Right now, I do need to protect my blonde. I do want more volume. I do want to grow my hair. So I'm going to go back to my other products. But as a detox, which I think is important in all aspects of life, your hair needs a break. Um, your body needs a break. Detox from harsh chemicals, detox from bad food. I will go back and use this stuff again, for definitely, for sure. The vitamins are really great though, and I am highly considering starting up a subscription with those. Get a little bit of both worlds going on. I'm not gonna leave you on this final update without some tips for this week. I talk with my hands a lot. I'm gonna like sit on them. You have to give your hair time to repair. 
Um, you can't just jump into using new products and then expect it to all 100% be better. Also, I think one of the most important things when you're trying to grow your hair is to track your progress. You really don't see the progress that you're making when you see yourself every single day. It's just like what I was saying. Um, I've had people come up to me and say, your hair's grown a lot. I didn't think it had. When I went to take my first progress pic, I didn't think that I'd see any results. So when I did see that couple inch or two, I was extremely excited, which is something that I wouldn't have normally seen if I hadn't have taken the pictures. But also the, the most important thing that I want to leave you guys with, don't compare yourself to who you want to be. Only judge yourself on how far you've come. If you're going to judge yourself, judge yourself on the progress that you've made. Because honestly, it's going to make you feel a thousand times better when you see how far that you're coming. And that's not only necessarily speaking with hair growth, that's speaking with everything. And it's important to set goals. It's important to set goals and it's important to better yourself constantly. But don't judge yourself based on what other people have. Or you're never ever going to be happy with what you have. That's all the advice I have for you. That concludes my tips, tricks. Um, conversation. Thank you guys so so much for watching along with me and yeah following along with me during the past three long months of this series it is now March 28th it is almost April and we started this back in January. Definitely make sure to like and comment down below and if you're not subscribed subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching I will see you next week for another video. Bye guys. I had a little setback in my previous update that I was... <laughs> Get out of here. It has been three months since the beginning. Whoever you are, Caitlin. Caitlin. Hair growth vitamin. I don't know why. <laughs> what? Can I be in your video? No.